hi guys so today we are going to control an external device using our mi band via internet so let's get started these are the things required a breadboard a node mcu a relay channel uh, you can use either mi band 2 or 3 and couple of jumper wires okay so let's install the required software open play store in your phone and search for ifttt then install it i have already installed all of it then search for blink and install it then search for mi band ifttt and install the software now open the blink app then sign up with the valid email address i have already signed up now select new project give a project name then select node mcu from select your hardware drop down list then from connection type choose wi-fi and press create then you will receive a notification token in the email address you have registered with blink we will be using it later press the add widget option on the top and choose button from it then a button will be added to your dashboard then press the button for changing its settings now choose the pin in here i am choosing digital pin d5 you can choose any pin you want then change the button type to switch from push change off to 1 and on to 0 because for the relay channel i am using high signal will turn off the relay and low signal will turn on the relay press the back button and your settings will be saved now let's give the connections as shown in the circuit diagram connect the node mcu to a breadboard then connect the pin d5 to the input of relay channel then connect the ground to the ground of the relay channel then connect 3 volt of the node mcu to the vcc of the relay channel now let's connect power supply to both node mcu and relay channel 12 volt to the jd vcc of the relay channel and ground to the ground of the power supply the power for node mc will be uh, taken from the micro usb cable i am powering the relays with an smbs power supply now let's move to the programming part first we need to install the bling library for that go to sketch include library and open manage libraries and search for blink and select the latest version and click install as you can see here i have already installed it go to examples then look for blink from there and go to boards underscore wi-fi and select node mcu then paste the authentication code which you received before then write your wi-fi ssid and password here then select the port from tools and also select the port and upload the sketch now open the serial monitor if everything is ok then it will show ready that means your node mc is now online now let's test it using the blink app so we can control the relay from the blink application as you can see here when i press on the button the relay is getting turned on and off now let's move to ifttt applet creation open the ifttt application from your phone then click on the create applet button then press this button from there search for webhooks and select it then click on the receive a web request button and give an event name I am writing relay on and press create trigger. 
Before configuring that service, we need to create two HTTP request URLs for relay on and relay off. So here is the URLs. The first one is for relay on and the second one is for relay off. Here these URLs are performing the same functions of the button in the Blink application. This IP address is the IP address of the Blink server and the place where I wrote authentication token you need to replace it with your authentication token which you received in the email from Blink. And here instead of D5 we have used D14 because D14 is the GPIO pin number of the physical pin D5 in Node MCU. And the value is updating the state of the pin D14. Value 0 means the pin is high and value 1 means the pin is low. Now press that button and again search for webhooks and select it. Then press make a web request and paste the URL for relay on which we just created. From the method choose get and from content type choose xbar plane. Leave the body blank and press create action. Now press the finish button and go back. Now again press the create applet button and press this. And search for webhooks. Then press receive a web request and write relay off in the event name. And press create trigger. Now press that and search for webhooks again and press make a web request and paste the URL for relay off which we created before. Then from method choose get and from content type choose text bar plane and press create action. Then press the finish button. Now let's go back to my applets and you can see both the applets which we created. Actually, we have pasted the wrong URL in the relay on applet. So just select it and press the configure button and then in the URL section change the value equal to 1 to value equal to 0 and save. Now both of our applets are created. Now let's configure MI band channel. Open IFTTT and from services search for webhook and select it. Now open the settings and press on the URL and copy your key. Then open MIBAN channel and paste the key here. The app will automatically dictate the MAC ID of the band. Now write the same event name which you write in the IFTTT applet. Event 2 click will run the relay on applet when you double tap the band and even three click will run the relay off applet when you triple tap the band now press the connect button it will show a notification in your band when it is connected now let's test our setup just double tap the band and now you can see that our relay is on Now just triple tap the band and uh, our relay is getting off. So that means our setup is now working perfectly. Okay guys, so let's connect some light to the relay and see it in action. So that's it guys, if you have any doubts regarding this project, please ask in the comment section. If you like this project, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Thank you guys.